We start with a developing story out of Stillwater where a correctional officer was killed by an inmate inside the prison. The Department of Corrections telling us tonight this is the first time in Minnesota that an inmate has killed an officer. John Cromans at the prison with what we know about the attack. John? Well, we know, Randy, that the suspect, the person that they suspect in this killing, was already serving time on a homicide charge, and that the killing happened in a shop area, the kind of place where trusted inmates would have access to tools. The investigators right now are not releasing the name of that suspect. Of 1,600 inmates in Stillwater, 527 of them are here on homicide charges, and today, one of them killed again. Today is a very sad day for the Corrections family. Corrections Commissioner Tom Roy announced that Corrections Officer Joseph Gom was murdered by an inmate in one of the prison's industry buildings. The Corrections family is reeling from this incident. We are not accustomed to losing staff. Because the investigation's in its early stages, Commissioner Roy wouldn't give any specifics on motives or weapons. He said GOM had been working in the prison system for 16 years. We have assaults on staff, but really this loss of Officer GOM is at a level that we have not seen before. As I walked by the front gate, there was a lot of people hugging and, you know, crying. And Robert Camps knew something was different about the prison today. His dad worked at Stillwater for decades. He came home bloody a couple times, and the one time I remember, he always told my mom, don't worry, it's not my blood. Camps was stunned by news of the murder. I bartended in Bayport. I knew a lot of the guards that came in after work. You know, I knew a lot of guys that used to work here. It was just devastating to hear that. And the same goes for the entire corrections community. We are visiting emotions that we have not visited before. Now, when Commissioner Roy was asked about whether or not this was an issue of a staff shortage, he said that system-wide across all prisons, there's about 150 short right now of what would be considered fully staffed but he said he didn't want to draw conclusions this early in the investigation about whether or not that was a factor in today's killing. We don't really know yet the motive or any of the things, and he also wanted to keep the focus on the grieving family and coworkers of Mr. Gom. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. Today's attack happened at the prison in Stillwater, the state's largest institution for adult male felons. There were more than 1,600 inmates housed there with homicide as the top offense followed by assault. There's also another facility just a few miles away at Oak Park Heights. Both of those locations have seen an alarming number of attacks over the past few months. A corrections officer was seriously injured at the Oak Park Heights facility just three weeks ago. The inmate in that incident was serving a life sentence for second degree murder. In March, a total of 10 officers were assaulted there in just one weekend. The Oak Park Heights prison is the only maximum security prison in the state. State lawmakers have been exploring this increase in violence, but there's been very little movement for additional funding or security measures. In most Minnesota prisons, assaults on inmates are dropping, while assaults on staffers are increasing. At Oak Park Heights, the number of staff assaults skyrocketed 81% in the past five years, according to the Minnesota Department of Corrections records. And the number of those assaults involving weapons have tripled.